Surah Al Mul. This is one of those verses in which the purpose of life is defined. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, "Allah the Khalaq Al Maut Wal Hayat." ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا الذي خلق الموت والحياة. الله المعتي is he who created موت and حياة. in this verse الله المعتي mentioned death first then life. so that he reminds me and you of death first and then think of life after. that death is a reality that is going to hit me and you. Death is going to come across me and you. You can be in any corner of the world. You could be in the White House. You could be in some slum in the Amazon rainforest. You could be in a, the flashiest car, or you could be walking on the street. You could be playing football, or you could be laying in bed. You could be doing halal, or you, be, you could be committing haram. But that angel of death will come to you, and he will take life from you. Big kings like Pharaoh have come and gone. Harun and Kamal came and gone. Nimrud. These people thought they were badshahs. These were zalims. Allah Almighty left them as example for me and you. These men had everything. You think you've got everything? You ain't got nothing compared to Pharaoh. It just to carry Pharaoh's key. It would take seventy camels just to carry his keys for his treasures. What have me and you got? Tell me. Even Pharaoh no knew. Right at that last moment, when he was in between the sea with his million-man army, he knew that I'm gonna die now. What face am I gonna show? Even he thought for a moment. Even the the thought of death crossed his mind. Though his entire life he lived like, yeah, it's me, bro, it's me. That's all it is. Pharaoh came, Harun came, Haman came, Karun came, Nimrud came. These are examples, time and time again. Allah Almighty has mentioned these examples in the Quran. He does not like the one who has the kabul. He does not like the one who is a zalim. He does not like one who is a fujjar. Those who commit evil, those who go against Allah Almighty, those who sin against Allah Almighty. Allah Almighty doesn't like these people. Allah Almighty loved the people of taqwa. Allah Almighty loved those where Allah Almighty in the Quran said, "Ya yuhaladina amanu taqulla haqqa tuqatihi." Allah Almighty loves those who they where Allah Almighty in the Quran said, "Oh you who believe, fear Allah Almighty." Ittaqullah haythu kuntum Fear Allah Almighty haythu ma kuntum Wherever you are Where are those people gone? Where's the fear of Allah? No man's got no fear in his heart left